Good <clears throat> morning, fans. Privateer FX. Going at you Friday month end in July. 31 July. We have some parabolic moves here in currency, namely Euro dollar cable. It's pretty parabolic, right? 114.60 now to 118.90. Pretty much straight line. Don't want to try and pick tops here, uh, but you also don't want to be long here uh, at uh, 118.90. If you are long, you want to take something off the table or sell some calls against it. This is a thin <laughs> summary market. Uh, and it looks like we're just getting a wee bit carried away here uh, so be careful we obviously took out barriers at 119.05 uh, and now we're going to consolidate a little bit will there be barriers at 120 today? probably uh, and so if you want to try and tactically pick a top maybe wait for those barriers to be done um, but if you've got four or five hundred points uh, in the bag here you might want to try and trade this uh, a little bit earlier. Cable, same thing. We got a bit skeptical yesterday. 131.13. We cut pretty quickly. Uh, but here we are. We're just hanging in right looks like a turn bar up here but again these kind of parabolic moves you don't want to try and pick a top to be a naked short but you're sort of I wouldn't say obligated but it's probably in your best interest to lock in some profits um, on this kind of excessiveness what else is happening obviously earnings out last night great news uh, four of the 500 companies in the S&P are doing really well um, so we got that going for us um, those guys crushed it those Amazon numbers motherfucker wow almost a hundred bill in revenue unbelievable um, but stocks a little bit lukewarm here right they're just um, you know, we, we gapped open up to 73, but here we are at 53. Um, we are not buyers of stocks. We don't understand, even if they are the four biggest companies or they're 25% of the market cap. If such a small minority of companies are doing well within a group set of, say, 500 companies or a group set of, like, thousands of companies in America if everyone else is getting fucked um, we're worried so no dog in this fight right now tough you know you can't just walk in and sell 53's here what are you going to do leave a 74 stop that doesn't make much sense uh, are we going to tickle this uh, 84 high perhaps the real you know sort of I would say money sale is this 3339 this is the close on February 21st that's the last gap to be filled um, and that's 70 handles away so I mean it's only 2% but we're not gonna see that today so not much to do in stocks kind of the middle of nowhere here Let's go to dollar rand. We were fooling around with that yesterday. Through 61 paid, traded all the way up to 95. Back down to 68. We've reloaded longs um, at 72. The emerging market coming default, uh, I think, is going to rear its ugly head soon. This is kind of a pre emerging market default trade two days ago we saw this thing just was not 
just couldn't get through this very obvious 1635 level. It should have easily gone down through there with stocks going through the roof. It did not. This is telling us that uh, this thing's run out of juice and will revert to what we would say normal trend, which is the slow move towards toilet paper uh, for Czar. So we're long dollar Czar today, and we'll be trading that on the long side uh, in the coming days. Euro Norway also through that 75 level yesterday. Bullish engulfed. This risk ons make it making it a little bit sticky up here, but we like uh, long Euro Norway, especially if stocks continue to go left a bit. Um, crude's at 40.10. Crude does not look great. Traded all the way down to 38.70 yesterday. Where where was I when that happened? Shit. Clearly not paying attention. Um, yeah, end of the European day. Wow, bang. Of course, forty fifty was the roof held. Crude doesn't look great, although that looks fairly capitulatory. That bar must have been news out that I wasn't paying attention to. You guys can scroll back and see what the hell happened there. But crude doesn't look great. Euro Norway. Um, we like core long here in Norway. What else? Gold. Just dicking around up here. Um, marginal new high up at 90. Can't really get through this 2000 level. Uh, not much to do here. We're looking for sort of sideways consolidation between 1900 and 2000. So if you do have the itch to fade it, Maybe wait till it trades up through 2000, sell it back down through. If you want to buy it, just fish around, I think, uh, between 1920 and, and 1900. Dollar CAD, we got GDP today. Obviously, with this oil uh, falling down a bit, pretty bullish bar in Dollar CAD, but it seems quite sidelined, Dollar CAD. Like, I mean, CAD yen is getting smoked. But um, seems fairly sidelined. But CAD GDP today, uh, you can probably guess that's going to suck the duck. So 2.30 Swiss time for some duck sucking. If you feel like it. CAD yen. Boom. Through these lows. It's been a better horse than Kiwi yen, which is really sticking around now. Kind of crawled all the way back. But and fell back to 64 last night. Buzzy and also just stubborn, not going down with any vigor. Um, with these equity moves higher, you can, you can sort of understand that. Interesting sort of line in the sand now, maybe Aussie and 74, 85. These are the metrics that we want to use to be core short stocks when they turn just because there's less volatility in them so you can hold the position longer because you know that, that first two days of the turn are usually quite hectic in S&P's take yesterday 3194 given 3250 paid um, that's quite hectic you can see Aussie and Kiwi and just really did dick um, and when there is fear, and there is not fear right now, but when there is fear, these are these are your horses for your core position. Doesn't mean you do, doesn't mean don't trade S and P's, but you can use these as your core, and they're more of a stabilizer than anything. I'm gonna check up this uh, Euro Yen chart just because we all remember the magic 124.43. We talked about leaving a five-pointer to make a thousand points. It did drop 500. It never really got to the thousand-point mark. But now we're up here again. Up through here, uh, and this can run, right? So I don't know what's going to drive this. Certainly dollar yen is on its knees. I don't know how this could go higher. But just be aware, 124.50, if we do see it up there, and this could be euro dollar going to 120. Um, 
there's going to be risk. There's going to be stops above 124.50. We are not fading euro yen, but I don't think we're going to break trade it either. Uh, just watching for now. As you can see, not a whole heck of a lot uh, to sink our teeth into. We're, we're core long some uh, dollars are. We're core long some euro Norway. Um, neither of them feel super sexy. Uh, so we'll we'll keep a tight lid on the risk here and just see how the European morning plays out. As has been all summer, the real volatility and the real fun will start uh, when New York gets in. So get your exercise, go for your swim, run, jog, bike. Uh, I don't know, go have sex with your neighbor or whatever you do for, um, for exercise. And uh, we'll get ready to be strapped in for the New York session, which is also the month, month end session. All right, uh, I've said enough. Uh, wish you all good, positive, professional trading days today and a good weekend. Catch you on uh, Monday. Ciao.